you know, what was going through my mind is I hope the spacecraft holds up through all this because... Hi, my name is Ron Guerin. I'm a former NASA astronaut. I did three missions with NASA, uh, two of them in space, one on the bottom of the ocean. I flew uh, in 2008 on Space Shuttle Discovery and I flew in 2011 on a Soyuz spacecraft and spent about six months in space and did four spacewalks. The one word that came to mind was wow, uh, and it was just the most breathtakingly beautiful thing I've ever seen. Brought a Super Bowl uh, jersey uh, from American football player Eli Manning. Sleeping in space is really peaceful and restful once you figure out how to sleep in space. And it took me about a month to figure out how to sleep in space, which was unfortunate since my first mission was only two weeks long. So I didn't, I didn't get much sleep on my first mission. I would choose flying a spaceship uh, that can also fly in the atmosphere. Is that cheating? <laughs> You know, what was going through my mind is I hope the spacecraft holds up for us. I didn't always dream of becoming an astronaut, only since July 20th, 1969. And that was the day where I, as a, a very young boy, along with millions and millions of people all around the world, watched those first footsteps on the moon. And so we were a species no longer confined to our planet, and I wanted to be a part of that group of explorers. And, and that dream came true about four decades later. I was a crew member of the International Space Station. I was the U.S. segment lead responsible for the experimentation. And the first thing any of us do when we wake up is we open up a program on our laptop, and on the program is all of our tasks for the day. Those tasks are related to the scientific experimentation. I took 25,000 photographs in my time in space. We wanted to share the experience of being with each other. The launches are memorable. Return to Earth through the atmosphere at you know, eight kilometers per second on fire. There's the incredible view of the planet that's changing. There's the camaraderie of being up there with other people. I really truly believe that the International Space Station is a shining example of what we can do when we set aside our differences and do amazing things together. That was probably the most enjoyable part of the experience for me. What's interesting is back in the early days, there was a lot of discussion about bringing international crews into the space station program. And there was a lot of detractors. Luckily, those voices did not win out, and we decided to do this thing together. And when we're on the International Space Station, there's not the American crew or the Japanese crew. There's just one single unified crew. And we work together as one single unified international crew to protect and maintain the life support system and the mission of the space station and to further the mission of humanity as a whole. And what we need to do is find the low-hanging fruit, find the things that we do agree upon, like space exploration, and work on that together.